<sighs> it's amazing of how things change. Sometimes the change happens and it takes you off guard and you're surprised. But then again, sometimes things change and you knew perhaps in denial but you knew there was a problem but in your mind you believe something you can do can keep whatever it is in the manner that you want it to be. Like many of you women, many of you uh, brothers, you find somebody and you love them, but you know from the very beginning that something about this relationship is not going to work. You know it. But you decide to try anyway. You think that something miraculous might happen. But most of the time, our intuition is, is correct. And so we live in denial for whatever reason. I'm guilty of that. Having faith and hope in those who have no integrity, they have no honesty, they don't even love themselves. So if they cannot love themselves, how can they love you? Suffice to say, no loyalty, no integrity. We see Alberta Parish. We call her the poo lady, the doo doo lady. We see her on social media. with her friend, her new friend that she has only known for about three months four months or whatever this is my best friend you're going to choose somebody out of the blue that come from out of nowhere over somebody that you have known and living that actually been in your house and you actually communicated with and know two years you're going to choose them and treat them better than somebody that did you well for over two years that you actually know been in your house you're going to take some trash some garbage that you found because you mad and upset you're going to take them and choose them over somebody you actually in real life know only knows this person for over three months. And prior to this, we had a conversation about this person that we know of now as the pork chop. I told her about pork chop and why I have a disdain and a hatred for pork chop. A very nasty, tyrannical, wicked person. Devilish liar. Evil woman. One of the most evil people I've ever known in my life. Low down and dirty. And when we listen to the doodle lady. 
her first description of this person. She's a narcissist. We heard the tape. Out of her mouth. This is what you say. You call her a narcissist. A good liar. A narcissist is a good a good storyteller. And now you all lubby dubby with this person. And you don't take your own advice because a narcissist is a good liar. Anthony Minor Ross is a good liar. That's what you said. But you're so hateful. And you don't want to hold yourself accountable and responsible for what you done because you keep doing dumbass stuff all the time. And you don't want, and now you want to blame somebody else because you're an idiot. Because you're stupid. You done that. And so now you have befriended this person. One of our earlier arguments was you remind me of pork chop. Don't call me that. Or you remind me of deity. Because deity is nasty, profane, vile person. And pork chop is a nasty, vile, ignorant acting. Unladylike, no sophistication type women. You remind me of them. Don't call me that. Poor Chubb is a thief and a parasite. Don't call me that. And I had to keep telling her. She reminds me of deity. She reminds me of pork chop. Because she was expressing herself in that manner. Don't compare me to somebody else. But you sound and you carry yourself in the manner, in the same kind of ways that these foul women carry themselves. So here we are at this point in time and when all the smoke clears when the rose colored glasses come off our eyes we now see that I was correct that you are exactly like deity vile nasty Profane, unladylike, no sophistication. Here you are. Here is this woman, the doo doo lady, talking about me. You're supposed to be a lady and a Christian, and you are on social media, not even trying to be ladylike. Talking about a man's penis and how tight your vagina is, all this vile nastiness. And see, the reason why we do that is because she has no other value. Her only value is is her putty tat. That's all a Leah Porkchop got is her putty tat. If you can find it below all. All these folds of, 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 of cellulite. <laughs> are you there, putty? Putty, are you there, putty daddy? No. It's down there somewhere. Let me move. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there it is. So, I was correct. Because the doo-doo lady is just as foul as Aaliyah Porkchop is. She's a liar like Aaliyah Porkchop, a deceiver, a parasite, a manipulator. 
run around going get all these different people involved in your mess they don't have nothing to do with some of them of course they join because they don't like Angel Snuffin' Up 7 for whatever reason but when it's all said and done all of y'all got your ass whooped the tide turned on all of you because you you're not standing on the you're standing on the wrong side of right so even with our channels terminated even with your lies your slandering your gossip and whatever else you think that you can do angel snubbed up seven the realities temple on earth still stand strong still stand proud no big deal we already I've been through this before and I still stand because I stand on the right side of right you're gonna continue to fall you're on social media crying about donations well I don't get no donations I, Nobody don't want to buy my books. Uh, nobody, nobody. That's what you caused. You done that. Because you're foul. And now you have befriended the foul that has nothing. If not for your channel, Pork Chop has no voice. Nobody listens to the porker. Nobody's going to go to a channel of pork chop. Everything she has done in her life, she has failed. She's a loser. And you have become a loser. The best time you ever had on social media is when you was in your right state of mind, whether you was a Christian, because when you first came with us, on social media you was a Christian then you became agnostic or whatever but it made no difference as long as you were on the right side of right finding yourself being true to yourself you're not even being true to yourself you sold your own book out that you dedicated to your mother you said I don't believe in that no more and then you back have the person who was your greatest support system for Sanetta and Nepal then you sold me out to Karen and now you sell me out to this big fat ham hawk none of them giving you nothing gave you nothing and then you stab sister Nandy in the back and the only thing she did was try to be your friend but she's a self thinker And she began to question these stories like something here don't sound right. And you and Poor Chop went ballistic. What you mean it don't sound right? You don't believe me? If you are a just person, it's not just about belief. It's about being right. It's about being fair. And so the tide turned. You're just like this foul woman. And, oh, and look at her life. She's a lonely woman sitting in Detroit in a Section 8 ass house. Surrounded by all her grand children that she really don't like. She's sucking the foster care money. Miserable life. She's a miserable person. And that's who you decided to cling with instead of Jesus. Because even if you went back to church, if you really went back to church and really was interested in Jesus, you would have been doing much further. But when the devil showed up because of your hate,